Yo, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I am gonna be showing you how to install MIUI 10 on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. I have already done it. As you can see, it's running on MIUI 10 and you can see the toggles right here and the animations and stuff. So without further delay, let's make it happen and let me show you how to do it. All the imported links to Flash MIUI 10 on your Redmi Note 5 Pro will be linked in the description box below. And note that I am using leaked MIUI 9.5 over here and the version I am gonna flash is MIUI 8.5.31 which is actually the China beta version of MIUI 10 for Redmi Note 5 Pro. So as I have downloaded everything already, let me boot into TWR Recovery now. And as you can see, I am using official TWRP 3.2.1 slash 0 here. Now as usual, go to wipe, then advanced wipe, then select cache, Dalvik cache, system and data and swipe to wipe. Once done, go back, go to install. Here I did an experiment that I did not flash magisk manager for this time, which you should. So the flashing order should be. 1. The MIUI 10 zip file 2. The lazy flasher zip file 3. Magisk manager 4. Gapps for MIUI 10 All the links are in the description below so do not worry. So once the flashing is done, hit reboot system and you might see no OS installed over here. If you see that warning, just swipe to reboot and don't worry. As you can see, we have successfully rebooted into MIUI 10, so let me continue to the setup. I already connected to my Wi-Fi and I did not insert my SIM card yet, so continuing. Let me set up my fingerprint now. As you can see, we are greeted to the home screen. And here we have the MIUI 10 quick toggles, looks pretty similar to Android P, but it's still based on Android Audio for Redmi Note 5 Pro at least. If we go into settings, we have my device on top. It shows MIUI version as 10 and if we jump into all specs, here as you can see, it's 8.5.31 beta and the security patch is of May 1st, 2018 and running on Android 8.1 Oreo. Here is a new recent apps panel as you can see and I'll be doing a full review of this MIUI 10 build so stay tuned for that. We can jump into an apps info from recents like this. As I do not have the Play Store right now as I did not flash Magisk earlier so let me do it now. First, let me flash Magisk and then flash the minimal G apps for me Y10. Now, let me just reboot to system again, and as you can see, the Play Store is here. So, let me just sign in, and as we do not have G board over here, so I tried side loading it, but it simply did not work. So I used the Baidu keyboard to sign in. Here as you can see Gboard is actually installed in Play Store it shows. So how to enable it? Let me show you. Go to settings then additional settings and then go to languages and input. Then go to current keyboard. As you can see Gboard is not there in current keyboards. So we have to enable it from virtual keyboard. Inside virtual keyboard tap into manage keyboards and simply enable Gboard and disable the other ones. So once you have done that, you are pretty much good to go for the Gboard. As you can see, we have enabled Gboard over here successfully. And here is a demo of Geo4G Vaulty calling working over here. Welcome to Geo Bangla. And look at the new volume adjuster. The camera works fine. 
and from recents you can just swipe and remove an app like this from memory split screen and stuff is working fine only thing which was not simply working for me is google contact sync it was because of minimal g apps i guess so i had to sideload all the contacts from my redmi note 3 so be aware of that here is a close look at the status bar the status bar icons looks totally new over here and i have to say they look pretty cool as they are bold and bigger now and no faulty logo it just shows hd over here and here are some close look to the animations of adjusting the brightness and here is the quick toggle expanding animations here are a bunch of bloatware that you can simply uninstall very easily and i am experiencing some new sounds all over the ui here are some examples for that And if you open up some apps, the notification panel totally emerges to the background which looks cool and great copy of iPhone X I gotta say. The ROM feels really great and it totally is a daily driver at least I think so as of now. So I am gonna reviewing it soon so stay tuned for that. In the meantime you can definitely try it out if you want to. So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for watching, hit the big thumbs up button if you liked this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you want many more awesome contents like this. This has been Tito from Carry and Tech signing off for today and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye now.